Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we are back here. I have almost finished connecting up all of the items here. Uh, one of the things that I forgot to mention last time is if there is no O or I, that means it doesn't matter which side of the belt um, these items are on. And in this case, obviously this is a two-part kind of mall, too wide. When I say O and I with these guys, I meant um, inner as in the inner toward the belt array. So the uh, the red circuits would go on the right side of the belt in this case. Right, um, and I came across a little bit of a difficulty, um, and that is here. I was gonna copy this same arrangement here, uh, but it doesn't fit. So I thought I would show you guys how I would do that. I probably, I think I would take it from the third one maybe, um, and then just kind of go around that way so it fits nicely, and then the red would go there. And, uh, and yeah, that would work like that way. So let me just put those here. Um, and this one actually probably needs to go there so that the red can eventually connect with that. But I will need to, of course, extend this back to the green circuits um, uh, splittery thingy. So we have all this sorted out. Now, when we actually have full throughput on these lanes, we are going to change things up quite a bit. Um, for now, I think we're good going as we are. How much do we have in here? Let's let's build, let's have enough um, yellow belts there. And then here we'll have one stack, I think. What are these set up? Yeah, one stack is good. Uh, let me grab a half of this stack. I think I would really like to um, delete this old belt array because we're not going to really be using it at all. And the same with the inserters. We have inserters made in the mall, so we really don't need all of these extra uh, bits and pieces. And we can recycle that area for making other things. Now this is a very similar uh, thing. I, I wish that these guys would not show, but these are basically uh, item request slots. So these are for logistics robots to put in modules. All of these uh, six are gear machines and then we have pipes uh, and this works very much like the gear system in uh, in the belt array. However, with the pipes we can also build things like um, oil refineries uh, which are somewhere... <laughs> where are they? Um, have we not gotten to them yet? I don't know. Can I build an oil refinery? Oh no, we, ha we haven't researched oil yet, that's why. Uh, but yeah, all of the oil refinery stuff is on this side um, and things like that. But we are going to be able to start building uh, some train engines very shortly. So I'm really excited about that part. Uh, right, so, and here are our inserters where we can, um, we can start building them in this nice array as well. And I used to have a mall where the inserters were in back of the belts and all this stuff was in one long line. But what I found is that they just didn't get enough materials. So it was a throughput issue and now it works a lot better having two separate chunks with um, some stuff going through the middle as well. So anyway, that is that as they say. Oh, I should grab some power poles. And later on, uh, all of these regular chests will be replaced with passive providers so that um, we can get all of these items automatically delivered to us. Oh, and look at this. Guess what this is? This is making us some furnaces. Yes. Yay. Uh, which is going to make me a very, 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 very happy. And I missed the phone pole store. Here it is. Power pole store. Hey, nice. We're going to collect some of those as we go along. I think, yeah, this is going to just basically um, tap itself out and be done. I think, you know what, I think I'd like to just delete this array here because I want to build uh, some defenses. <laughs> we really need defenses because there are biters living here. Um, there's a lovely desert over there that I could explore as well. We don't see any biters this side yet, but I am worried because once this pollution, this you can barely see some bit, bits of pink over here, um, it's either when you turn it off and on, you can kind of see it shining. This is the furthest extent of the pollution-ish. Um, we're lucky we have all this forest around us. All those trees that we've been killing, they've been actually protecting us. But these biter bases are going to be dangerous, and we're going to need some turrets to protect ourselves. 
um, because once pollution starts reaching the bases, they absorb it and they generate a member of the raiding party. And once the raiding party gets big enough, they're going to come attack us. So life is not going to be good when that happens. Oh dear. Right, so this is why we need a power bus. In case I, I do stuff like this. Um, power poles. Do I have regular power poles in this uh, array? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. All right, so I'll just put down a chest for wood. That's the easiest thing to get rid of. And I can also put down some of those fast inserters in the mall back where they belong because I don't need quite this many inserters. It's enough. We have, we have plenty. We really have lots of plenty. So I'll just put in like half of them at least. Okay, that should be a reasonable amount. We'll just cap that at two. And this wire can go somewhere, probably green circuits, because I know beacons use wire, but I, I don't have the beacon machine up and running because we don't have beacons working, so I have no idea where it is. Okay, remember we said we were going to do um, a power bus here, and I think that would be a good thing to have with those power poles. I'm going to leave at least two spaces for running. So we're just going to go these here. Okay, nice. Okay, so this goes the full length of the bus, which is nice. I'm going to pick up some more stone brick as I'm going along here basically fill up my entire inventory with stone brick and then place it down on our walking path. Okay, and as you can see, green circuits are already struggling. We need to build more machines of those. Okay, and I will, I'm gonna turn off the nanobots because I want to build this stuff without using them because it's quite expensive to build a paving with nanobots. There we go, nice. That way we'll have this nice running surface that we can explore the world with. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's running into all those darn trees. It's very annoying. Um, let's get these grenades. Grenade the trees. So while I'm doing it, I should, I suppose I should um, get the green circuits organized to at least have a maximum throughput of green circuits. I don't think I did that. I think I just put down a couple of arrays and we really want to go a little bit bigger than that right now. Okay, there we are. Okay, there we go. That's good enough. Let's just use up the rest of the bricks. Very, very wide path. I think Nilas would be proud. I know he loves his paths. Okay, but we do need to connect these guys up here. Because if they're not connected to the respective arrays, then life doesn't work very well. Okay, and these are the nanobots. Right. All right, and there we go. This is connected well. So let us start by building some things like turrets and ammo. Um, so for turrets, do we need any, we don't need green circuits. Wow. All right. So we can delete this line. I was going to not delete it until we actually knew what we needed, uh, for stuff. Actually, I could just disconnect this because maybe we would need the line for something else. Who knows? Um, wait, let me just grab this, all this stuff. Oh my God. Now I have so many circuits in my inventory. All right. Let's just redistribute them a little tiny bit. Here, take a half a stack, half a stack there, and more. Yeah, they'll probably never use all of these at all. Anyway, it's okay to have some on me, but I don't need five stacks. Right, so I think I can make, probably I can make ammo. We need, let's see, steel and copper and iron. Yeah, steel and copper and iron can all go onto the same line, I think. 
Yeah, and that'll be just fine. I think we'll do a full line of... Yeah, we'll just move this whole thing because this is just like not, not useful at the moment. Uh, in the mall, I don't think I have any turrets because I like playing with biters off. I hate biters. So, um, yeah, we're gonna... I'm just doing biters off. It's okay. It's just fine. Don't worry. Um, right, we're wanting... Oh, we actually did need that kind of same thing, which I should not have deleted because that was just silly now. Now that I think about it... Right. There we go. Okay, and we're gonna have our gear machine first thing. This is going to be more similar than I anticipated. Gear machine, hello. Two in and one out. And then we are going to need our turret machine um, to make some turrets. I don't think I'm going to need more than one machine. I don't anticipate it. So let's make turrets. There we go. So you're going to need stuff from here. And you're also going to need stuff from far away, which is going to be our line of copper steel. Uh, whoops. Oh, okay. So if you need a longer underground, um, go to the next color up because you can find that they will stretch longer distances. Um, red stretches six and blue eight, which is kind of nice. Uh, right. So we need copper steel. Still. No, no. Don't do that thing. Don't don't fast replace when I don't want you to. You should be reading my mind. And here the the order of the copper steel doesn't matter at all. So we're we're good with this. Get that one going. And then this one is gonna go from here up. And again. Aha! We have slight thing going on here. Our steel does not actually extend this way. Oh whoops. That's not good. No, 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 no. I forgot there's an extra space. Like that. Right, so here we go. Okay, so we have to split this uh, to go a little bit to the right. Which is alright. We could actually move the entire steel line to go kind of snaky this way if we wanted to. Eh, though I don't think it's that necessary, to be honest. Oh, you know what? I'm so tempted to go over here and fix, change that, but we're going to get to it. We'll, we'll get to it in a, in a second. Right, so copper steel is going to come out here. And I will get my happy dapper power pole right there. Okay, and you need an out, a box to output into. And I happen to have one right there, which is very handy. <sighs> okay, and yeah, good. I want you to make like two uh, two stacks. Two stacks is enough. Now the other thing we're going to make is going to be ammo. Right, these take three seconds to make one of them. And these take one second to make one. So for every one of these, we could have three of these guys. So I think I know what we're going to do. We're going to put... Oh, oh no. Okay. My brain is not working well. I keep clicking the wrong thing. Okay. So I want to do this this way. One, two, three, and four. And they're going to need this. And this one needs that. So... These guys are going to be the piercing rounds, and this is going to be the regular round. Because I'm not actually going to use regular rounds, because they're horrible. Um, but we are going to use the piercing rounds. Now these will need the long-handed inserters. There we go. I think that's all they need, except for these are going to output onto another belt. And how fast are these made? Every one second. Okay. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have them output onto the belt going this way. Now this is going to be, this is a nice little trick that you can do to have it go this way because it's going to put it on the, so if you look at it, it's going to be the upper side of the belt. It's always sort of on the right hand side of the inserter. Like if you have an inserter pointing this way and then the belt goes this way, it's on the upper. And if it goes this way, it's going to be on the right hand side. You can think of it that way. So this one essentially on the right hand side there. 
of that one. So it's going to go on the inner side of the belt. That means these guys can output to the other side of the belt, which suits me just fine. I'm going to put regular inserters there because fast ones are not needed. Every three seconds producing one item is quite slow. It's very slow. There we go. Put that one there. Right. Okay. So this should be going along very swimmingly. And then these guys actually need to take up these as well, which I kind of forgot about. Right. There we go. Oh no, it's not working. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's a surprise. Right. Um, what if I do this? There we go. Okay, now that's very interesting. I thought that it was supposed okay, never mind. I, I thought wrongly about how that works. So apparently you have to would do this sort of thing. What does it do it if I do it this way? Yeah, it goes on the right side that way. What if I do it this way? No, it goes on the wrong side. Look at that. Huh. Somebody mentioned that in the comments and I wanted to test it. And indeed it is kind of funky buggy, isn't it? That's funky. Right, so these guys are going to go in a nice chest and we're going to put them this way. Uh, and I'm only going to accept, um, let's get a filter inserter real quick. Yeah, that is a bug. Look at that. Huh. All right. Okay. And we're going to only put in the, the box, the, um, these guys piercing rounds. So this is going to work really well. So basically I put the boxes next to each other just for my own convenience. When I walk over here, I can grab these guys and the turrets and call it good. Uh, I'm going to put out, I'm going to take out my regular firearm magazines, shove them in one of these, in, um, one of these assemblers because I really don't need it. Right. So let's get a full magazine of, uh, ammo. So that's another thing that you can do with ammo. Um, if you have, like a lone tree that is needed to be destroyed because of the bus coming in the way. You don't want to use a grenade. Just press C. Uh, C will kill things. Um, be sure not to set your voice activation on Discord to C. Um, a wink to one of my new friends on Discord for that. But anyway, it's... um. Yeah, C is good for attacking things that are not necessarily enemies, like buildings, um, possibly other players, though don't do it on my server or I will not be amused. Um, but yeah, C will, and, and space bar is for attacking enemies, what the, what the game considers as an enemy, like a biter or, or a base or something like that. Right. So we now have defenses being made. This is good. Let me, uh, pick up a couple more turrets and, um, we may just have to go out and fight these guys. We have some light armor, but let me make heavy armor real quick. That's what we've got available to us. Take this off. Man, I don't really want to fight the biters, to be honest. I don't like biters. They're horrible. Um, and they're, they're basically just annoying to me. I, I don't like them because they're very, very annoying. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We can, we can fight them off. We can... Make sure they don't get in our pollution cloud. Um, once the pollution hits the desert, it goes really far away. So we'll want to clear these guys out before we go anywhere near there. But there are some nice iron patches. I mean, 17 million here. We've got 10 million over here. Um, so those are very lucrative for me wanting to connect trains over here. And it's actually the perfect level uh, because I want my train track to going kind of like over here. We might even cross that oil patch, but down there, oh, that is really tasty real estate for us to get some more iron to, to connect to our world here. So should we go in uh, and kill some biters? You know what? Let's go kill biters. Let's go and kill them because, um, well, actually I don't have enough ammo yet. I only have 73 ammo, uh, at the moment. So that's probably not enough to go on a first biter foray. I really should probably concentrate on getting my factory up to snuff. I forgot to limit this box. Let's have like five things. The cool thing about ammo is that it can be recycled into science later on. So you can never overproduce this ammo, which is good. You know, for early game stuff, you can just recycle all of it uh, into other stuff. 
which I really, really like that part. Um, I think we could, maybe we could get another, another, um, set of drills over here. I don't know. Looks like iron is doing, oh, you know what we need? We really need science. Okay. So we shall, I think we shall endeavor to set up science. You know what? But maybe we should wait till the next episode because it is quite a big job. I can clear some of this stuff out though. Uh, and, uh, so we can be prepared for all of this. Man, there's so many trees here. It's just very, very, very thick with trees, man. So many people on the forums have suggested these very interesting, like, methods of clearing trees. We should have a vehicle, a tree harvester vehicle, or we should have other specialized things, and I could just, like, do, like, a chainsaw. Anybody remember that really old, um, let's see. Um, there was a, uh, Disney, I think it was Disney that made it the, the Paul Bunyan, um, cartoon where it was this, this legend of Paul Bunyan and him against the, the mechanical chainsaw machine thingy. And I kind of keep thinking about that for some reason. Um, but yeah, having automated tree clearing other than grenades would be great because the grenades... They're, they do a pretty good job, but like on a huge forest like this, as you can see, it just takes time to get them out of the way, um, which is very inconvenient for us. But we may not need this kind of vertical space. We have, I have the science blueprints. Um, we all know right now how science is made. I'm going to put down blueprints because I have found really nice um, ways of building them, but I'm going to go through them as, as before and just really explain how the, how they work. Uh, and stuff like that, how to calculate the ratios. Oh, you know what else I was going to do? I forgot completely. We probably don't need this much vertical space. Now, coming in thinking about it, we can look. Let's see. Science. What have I got? Uh, oh, <laughs> how nice. <laughs> KOS, wasting time clearing trees. It's her vendetta against the trees. Don't believe that she has no opinion about this. News at 10, right? <laughs> oh, dear me. Okay, so, um, right, someone was asking me, and it's a really, really great question, um, how, how do these, there are actually two people were asking me, how do these impact the whole array, and how do you know how much, how many machines the belts will um, supply? Okay, let's get rid of, oh, um, Okay, we need to change this slightly. Get rid of those things for now. Right, let's have our nanobots work on this for us. And we'll copy this thing. I'm gonna put down a very specific number of these things as well. And this is in the way. It's really in the way. Let's see, oh, oops. Come on, brain. Don't do that to me. No. Actually, this is not too bad. This is not bad at all. This guy can move just two spaces down. One space down. Oops. Like this. Oh no, I'm out of undergrounds. Let's go and get some. Gotta get undergrounds. Because otherwise we're going to have a bad time. And I do not want to handcraft. After I make belt arrays, I never ever want to handcraft stuff again. Ever. Like, never, ever, ever. Okay, let me just collect these things. Oh, wow, I didn't really need that many, did I? Um, take these, though. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, basically this uh, four lane balancer or four to four balancer only goes at the very end of the line. The rest of these don't need them. These guys are just mostly to compress these belts over here. All right, go for it. Bots, you're doing a great job. Excellent. Okay. This got really screwed up because of extra power poles, I think. 
This seems okay-ish. This got really messed up too. Or not. I don't even know if it did or not. It's hard to tell. I'm going to move these guys because this is not working like I want it to. I need to get that radar back. Let's get the radar. Um, radar, where are you? Hello. There we go. Right. And plop this down again. Okay. That's there. And why are these guys disconnected? I think it's because we don't have these intermediate kind of power poles here at all. Which I would like to add because I don't think that it's useful to not have them. And this should be connected via the, uh, the power network. But I think... Let me just add this power pole here. Put that one there so it's just connected via long direction. So this is how many? One, two, three, four sets of machines. Right, so the problem that we can't really see a lot of this at the moment, let's just, let me just grab a whole bunch of circuits and I will show you how this whole thing gets to working out. And we actually need just one, one lane. We want the whole lane to go on one side. So someone asked me, how do you know how many machines you can get when you are, you know, when you have a belt? Now that depends on the speed of the machine and the speed of the belt. So in this case, we know that transport belt, yellow transport belt can carry 13.33 items per second or 40 divided by three. Um, these guys, they need one copper cable, one copper plate every half a second, so therefore two per second, but they go at a speed of 0.75. So you multiply the, the speed, 0.75 times two per second, they need one and a half per second. Now the belt carries, what did we say, 13.33? So you take 13.33 divided by 1.5 per second, it can serve nine machines, 8.88 .88 machines. So, oh, and this is this is the problem with this kind of a demonstration is that they are not going to, um, I'll show you in just a second. We basically, these are, these are um, the, the belts are full, so these aren't able to produce, um, but you'll see after the ninth machine or so, these guys will start suffering greatly. Okay, so let's just clear out these guys and see how many um, how many machines can run off of that one belt of copper. I did actually test this and, and make sure that it was all correct when I um, before I started this episode. I was testing in my test factory, which is my old SpaceX factory, which was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, anyway. So if we have all of these going at full pelt, they should be able to produce this stuff, as long as they're getting enough iron, of course. After nine machines, it should peter out significantly. Just keep on getting this, and they're all sorted out. Yeah, as you can see, after nine machines, these guys barely, barely get any. So at this point, I what I would want to do is kind of merge these in and say, do this kind of thing. And then this one can go this way, and then we don't even need the third belt going on. So basically, this the second lane of, of copper would merge in from here. Um, and then the third one from here and basically we'd reduce these lanes as we go along so these would you know this might catch any extras from you know the the first bit and, and now they're gonna start to build up again shortly um, I should let these guys distribute here go take my 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 things I don't need them um, what I should do is just like get a box here and get a Thing, and this is probably easier. There we go. Okay, so then I don't have to worry about putting it in each different machine. But yeah, as you can see, like this one isn't even getting any any uh, stuff. So that's how you would calculate it. Now, when we upgrade to yellow machines, those go at a crafting speed of 1.25, and then the belts also change. So red belts are a speed of two 
26.67 items. So again, we'd have to calculate and see, aha, you know, if these are red belts coming in, they're going to carry 26 items a second. Um, so we may need to move this uh, splitter to be further down the line. So that's how you would calculate how many machines you can support on a belt of a different type. Um, so I try to design stuff for that particular purpose. Um, so hopefully it'll, it'll get working. So now essentially we have, um, we, we had, don't have enough, uh, throughput. I'm going to connect this to actually, it doesn't matter. These guys will fill up the one side anyway. So I don't, I don't even really need to connect these, um, this belt or, you know what? I could connect this belt instead, um, because that one goes there. The rest are going to kind of come in here, um, to go to these other one, other lines there. Okay, so that's all sorted out, which is, well, sort of sorted. I don't think we're going to need many more green circuits right at this very moment because we're already saturated. Looks like the mall has finished making all the things we've asked of it, so it is now very much at a standstill of stuff. But we are using stone bricks. What the heck are we making? I don't, I don't, oh, we do have walls in the mall. Hello. Look at that. Nice walls, excellent. And I have lots of steel furnaces. We can start upgrading those. Let's check on our ammo production now that we've left it alone for a while. Okay, we have a bunch, a whole bunch. And we have some gun turrets as well. So we can probably go on a war against the biters um, in the next episode. We'll probably clear out these nests and possibly take out that one as well. Um, we may also just want to put in some defenses for example, you know, just, uh, you know, I don't even know where they're going to go. It's so hard to figure out where they're going to go, but I don't want them to destroy my mall. So we're going to maybe put a couple of turrets here. And what I'm going to do is grab this thing and give it half a stack here and half by right clicking. And then I'm going to right click, right click. So it has 25 rounds. So you can basically reduce it by half. I know someone was asking about that uh, as well. I love that nowadays we have this option to recycle ammo. I think that is so good. There we go. So now we have this part a little bit protected, maybe from, from wandering minstrel biters or something. I'm curious to see what the rest of the landscape gives us, and I really am going to want power armor soon. But we're going to have to have oil for that. But first, um, the next stage is probably to get uh, basic science set up. The blueprints that I'm going to be using are two science per second, which is uh, obviously on the purple and gold. You can see that is significant, significantly big. Red and green are very simple to do two science a second. Um, but then, then we're going to be delving into the correct ratios and all that stuff, um, which is going to be different slightly from our starter base, which has served us admirably. I love this starter base design. I think I'm going to use it from now on, possibly with modifications as I, as I need them. But anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.